G'day and hello beautiful people, it is Mimo here. Hope you're having a fantastic day, afternoon, evening, night, no matter the time, wherever you are, I hope life is treating you well. Let's move on to chapter 25, Sanctuary. We've got stage number one coming up here. We're moving through the woods to confront Negan. We are going to take this head on. Garrett has grown some... Yep, down there, and we're taking this head on. No one really knows where Negan's main base is located. We've seen his camps here and there, so we have no accurate guess of his numbers, which is just what you want when you're going into a fight, as Brock is saying. So what you're telling us is we could be headed into a... Well, here comes the colourful language. Effing buzzsaw. Yeah, we're blind to that. Judging from his scouts, he's got an army. Which, when you're going into a war, you sort of want to have an army. That makes sense. A good thing we're ready. Didn't take long look. Okay, so we've got a band of walkers rolling up in on us. What are we going to go? Um, This chapter's going to be a bit different to chapter 24. I sort of harped on a lot in chapter 24 about what to do. Now we're just going to try and get through these stages and see where the story's going to take us. We're going to stick with our traditional Kenny team. We'll refill up right here. We've got Brock in the blue, so we're going to have an all-blue team. A rained zombie team here doing their things. Now this team, it's nothing special. But when it comes to zombies, you don't need anything fancy. It's just really you want to get down and into the dirt with the zombies. You know, it just stick to your basis of the crit. That's all you need. And it's nothing, like I said, you're not going to get surprised by zombies. They're not going to have these special abilities or, you know, rushes or active skills. You know, they're not going to be... You're going to know your enemy really well when it comes to zombies. Uh, they may have things where they can resist certain things, but... There's nothing too special about zombies. All you want to do, get your team going with that crit and make those headshots. If they get close, they hit hard, yeah. Try to avoid letting zombies get close to you naturally. You know, no one wants to get bitten. Let's think of reality here. No one wants them close because they're going to hurt if they get up close. Which is the fact. I think in the last video where I will apologise, um, I muffed my sound. I tried to cut a corner by doing, usually I do my video and audio files separately and then combine them during editing. I tried to do it all in one and my audio file got corrupted which you know impacts everything so that's why you do just don't cut corners just do separate things so I'm sticking with my traditional way of doing my videos from now on. I'm not trying to do it all in one anymore so lesson learned. So in that video previously where I put the music over it, like I said, sorry, I personally would prefer to listen to music than my own voice or prefer music over me, but each to their own. Um, some people like to listen, I don't know why. I'm just going to say it's because of my accent, you know, when you hear something you don't know, it's it's cool, I guess. Anyways, I don't quite understand. Let's get off that subject because I was just mind-boggling for me. I used a two-star trainer and everything with the zombies and was just emphasising the crit... Uh, what I really had to do, essentially, was when you lose using those lower characters, is they're a protected species. If the zombies get close, you don't want them hitting you because they will kill them in one shot. The zombies hit hard. And when you've got like a two-star trainer and unleveled up three stars, if the zombies get close, they will hit hard. So I was protecting them with my life. Literally everything in my inventory was protecting them anytime the zombies got close. I didn't want them getting hit because I knew they were a one-shot kill. So that's the only real thing you got to think about. Like I said, zombies, you know your enemy. You really know your enemy and you know what they're going to bring to the party and you know what you need to bring to the party. So it's nothing too special. Like I said, I don't want to bore you with the, how you got to do this and you got to say it. That's what we did in chapter 24. Um, it was more for myself, really, because I'd been away from the game for seven months and I sort of reminded myself how to play and what I need and, you know, I've, more than anything, it was for myself rather than it, anything else. Like, people have been around in this game long enough that they know what to do. I just had to remind myself of what to do. So, wave six, we got through that pretty easy, like I said. Zombies, I always like zombie stages, they just... They put your heart at rest, the mind at ease. You know, you know what you got to do and how you're going to execute it. So stage number one there, we took on some zombies. We'll move on to stage two here. And we'll see. An encounter with the saviors, wherein we meet Russo. Oh, yeah, Russo. What a name, Russo. Now, when it comes to the weapons, 
Um, my tip for that, it's probably a bit late now, if you make the more aggressive choice, so I believe it was taking on the bandits in Chapter 24, and this one it would be infiltrating uh, the infiltrating Negan's sort of group, then the more aggressive choices, you'll get your people weapons, so your military shotguns and your reinforced katana. If you go the more passive options like I did, so no, I'm scared of infiltrating and I want to take on the walkers, you're going to get your crit weapons, which was the SMG and your knife. Now, right here, we're going to use... Uh, what are we going to use... Let's just go an auto field team. Let's just go this auto field team. Um, I don't like the look of Maggie in there. But anyways, she's the odd one out being the yellow. We've got Abraham, so it's friendly to him. It's ally friendly. Let's go ahead, fast forward through this. And, oh god, I thought that was one of me dying. But Maggie's very close there. I just heard the sound. I was like, eh, who's dead already? Uh, honestly, this team is... It's bad. Um... There is so many different things I'll do to this team, but I just, I want to sort of like get through chapter 25 as quick as possible and just uh, talk about a few different things with the chapters. We lost Maggie there. Like I said, why is she even in that team? Because it's all I feel. You know why she's in that team. Um, I'm just thinking to myself, why do I have her level up? But I remember I got her in an opening. So I got her as a 6 star in an opening. That is the only reason she's leveled up. I have a 5 star version of her as well. She, I'm not saying she's a horrible character. She's actually quite, you know, she's decent. Um, she's just a really easy one to target for these greens in this roadmap. I'm not going to revive her until the last wave, which I forgot to do with Rick in like stage 5 or 6 last in chapter 24. I forgot to do that. So when you have an ally, the problem with... I have all greens and then I have her as a yellow. When you have green enemies, so your opposite trait enemies, and you've only got the one person in your team that is the yellow, they're going to attack that yellow all the time. They're going to do lots of damage. There's no other yellows around her to sort of for them to target and disperse the damage at all among the... So that's the problem there with you, when you have one opposite. It's just easy for them to target. So it's just something to think of. I'm really, I'm really a huge fan of having multi... Like, so I always like having multiple traits. If I'm going to have multiple traits, I'm not going to have one... Just one trait like Maggie here that's opposite. I'm going to have a couple. So you're sort of just getting that... You're dispersing that damage between the traits and they're not going to just target... It's not making it easy for them in their mind to say, I'm going to target that player because it's... A yellow and I've got greens if you've got a couple of them well they're like sort of well which one am I going to target and then it just helps them out when it just makes puts you know four plays I think it's like yeah I'm going to target that one now I'm tag that one but it makes them think twice rather than just giving them the easy option so I'm a huge fan of if I'm going to run multiple traits I want at least two or so of that trait along with the other trait but there you see nice fast forward chapter 25 isn't in t you know, I don't think it's increased in difficulty too much from Chapter 24. It is the early stages. Like I said, six stars are going to breeze through these chapters. Yeah, I give up. You killed everyone else. What choice do I have? You're a captive of war. Smart man, you're going to take us to Negan and you're going to keep your mouth shut. Look at Garrett go. He's manning up and stuff. You said no prisoners. Oh, Bok. Oh, Bok. I'm going to call him Bok. Uh, Brock, you're a douchebag we need to find Negan he can't he can take us there he can't he can take us there of course so we're gonna keep him as always I thank you for watching I hope you did enjoy and always remember how awesome you are Bye. A light when the world is getting darker I have a dream where love's the only side so take my hand join the army of the shadow